Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna start by priming my face with my Amazing Cosmetics Smoothing Primer. Now I'm gonna dot this Maybelline Better Skin Foundation in the shade Warm Nude all over my face and I'm going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. To conceal and highlight, I'm going to take this Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Light Golden. The consistency is super creamy and it's very blendable. It gives you time to work with it because you know how some concealers dry right away? Well this one doesn't do that. And then to set my under eyes and my T-zone, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder from the Contour Kit and just buff it into my skin. To bronze up my face a little bit, I'm going to use this NARS Liquid Laguna Bronzer and I'm going to spray my stippling brush with the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Spray. And I know I say infallible weird, I say infallible, but honestly, I'm just more comfortable saying that. It's not a big deal. And to set that bronzer, I'm going to use my The Balm Bahama Mama bronzer. And if you saw in the reflection, I had Gossip Girl paused on Netflix so I can film this. I'm also using this to contour my nose. Now I'm going to use NYX blush in the shade Amber to add a little bit of a rosy cheek just because it's a very cool toned makeup look. I didn't want it to look completely like dark and like gray and you know like with no color. And then for my highlight I'm going to use Ofer Cosmetics Beverly Hills highlighter mixed with You Glow Girl to give me that very intense bright glow. To prime my eyes, I'm going to use my LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Primer. I believe this one is just their nude shade. For today's eyes, we're going to use the Kat Von D Plum Shade and Light Contour Quad and I am using that light pink color to start my transition. Now I'm going to take that dusty mauve color and I'm going to blend that starting from the outer corner, blending it into my crease. And then we're going to take the darkest plum color and we're going to place this on our outer corner and we're really going to pack on that color, then slowly diffuse the color into the crease. And then with the flat shader brush, I'm taking the lightest color and placing this all over my lid and make sure I'm really diffusing it and blending it into the purples because I don't want it to look really harsh. Here I'm just adding more of that darker plum color and I'm making sure that the outer corner is very dark and as I get closer to my crease, I use a lighter hand. And then for winged eyeliner, I'm going to use the Bombs Schwing Eyeliner. I've been using this in almost all my tutorials, so you guys know I'm definitely loving this. For lashes, we're going to use Huda Beauty Sasha Lashes. I wanted it very wispy but still super dramatic and these lashes were the perfect touch. To line my lower lash line, I am using this Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil in the shade M80. Now using this very small pencil brush, I am blending in that dark plum color from the Kat Von D palette into the eyeliner. 
Here I'm using that Ofer Cosmetics You Glow Girl highlighter in my inner corner. For my lips, I'm going to use this new Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Flirt. Honestly, you guys, this formula is amazing. This is the only color I own, but I will definitely be buying more to try them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.